Maputo, capital of Mozambique. In the 20 years since independence, Maputo has been the center of a bloody civil war. Football inevitably suffered as a result, but now peace has returned to the capital. Maputo is home to one of football's all-time greats, and today, nearly 30 years after he retired, Mario Kaluna is still revered in his home country. As a 19-year-old, Kaluna was signed by the Portuguese giant Benfica. In 1960, he won the first of two European Cups when Benfica triumphed in Bern against Barcelona. Kaluna scoring one of the goals in a 3-2 victory. I was about 18 or perhaps 20 meters out from the goal. The Barcelona goalkeeper didn't think that I was going to have a shot from so far out. So that was what I decided to do. I hit the ball as hard as I could. The ball went so fast, the goalkeeper couldn't get to it. It was the third goal and it gave Benfica their first victory in the European Cup. Benfica were back the following year. This time, they faced the mighty Real Madrid at the Olympic Stadium in Amsterdam. The Spaniards were looking for their sixth title in seven years and were 2-0 up after just 23 minutes. But Coluna, together with fellow countryman Eusebio alongside him, had other ideas. Benfica was a much younger team than Real Madrid. We started to play much better football than they did, creating more chances. And of course we scored. And it was me who scored the third goal, the equaliser against Real Madrid. Eusebio then went on to score the next two goals. It was a moment of great happiness, and it's a memory that certainly I won't ever forget. Benfica's remarkable 5-3 victory was one of the greatest comebacks ever seen in the European Cup. Back in Lisbon, Coluna had to adjust to his newfound stardom. He was a national hero in his adopted country. The Portuguese were quick to recognize his talents, and because Mozambique was a Portuguese colony, he qualified to play for their national side. At the 1966 World Cup, the scene was set for Coluna to shine at the highest level. However, at 3-0 down to the unfancied North Korea, Coluna was once again involved in a memorable comeback. The naivety of the Koreans meant that they couldn't have beaten us. We had a superb team at the time, and a great player and a great goal scorer who's still talked about all around the world today, Eusebio. In the second half, he was inspirational, and it was he who turned things around. He scored four of our five goals, and we went on to win, knocking out the North Koreans. così